Welcome back. In between the parts, I did decide to go into Maison Imelda. I've not done the quest in here, so don't worry about that. But I thought it would be a good place to actually farm yeah. some sepith, so I just kept coming to these guys here. Very much using turbo like crazy to take advantage of the time I had available, basically, just to get quite a bit of sepith at this point. As you can see here, I've got 1,541 fire sepith. Did quite a bit. A few, a few levels up as well. A few dumplings along the way. But, something I did notice while I was wondering about this place, killing some enemies, not going near the thing I needed for the quest, was very much there was a book, similar to one we saw previously in the bar in the back alley, that had the word cook on it. So I'm assuming they're going to be recipes. Now the reason I'm running over here is basically to point out that, even though I have a quest to go to, like, West Crossbell Highway, I can't. It's just up ahead. There's an extermination request there, but let's finish our work inside the city first. So, I'm assuming we have to go around and do the quest we got. And if I remember correctly, in the previous game, in Zero, we did get a cookbook from going to the police headquarters. If I remember correctly, I think it was there that I picked it up, or it was the monster book, or something like that. So I feel like I'm going to be able to pick that up before I head off and go to different places. So it's like, I should check out a few locations here first before I can do anything. So what I'm thinking is going to Wendy here, because another thing happened as well. It was very much if... I should go through this menu, Detective. Here, for this Enigma Training 2, I battled with Master Quartz equipped. It says, let's report back to Wendy. It's like, I've not been to her yet. So, I really should see about handing in these required ones, because I, I don't feel like they're going to lock me out of anything, so... Oh, there you are, Lloyd. And you've got new faces with you, too. Yeah, these are the two newest members of the SSS. Nice to meet you, I'm Noel Seeker. Where's the hemisphere? A pleasure. By the way, haven't you and Lloyd known each other since you were little? I'd love to hear the juicy details about what a naughty boy he was. <laughs> of course! I could tell you a thing or two. I never should have introduced you two. Anyway, let's get down to business. Weren't you going to train us on our new Enigma 2 opens? Oh yeah, slipped my mind for a sec. Ahem, let's begin. As I'm sure you're all aware, you are now using the brand new Enigma 2 Tactical Orbant. It's the newest tactical orbant manufactured by the Epstein Foundation. The biggest difference from the old models is the center slot of the orbant. The quartz design for this slot is what we call a Master Quartz. And they're the ones with the patterns engraved on them, right? Those are the ones, you can't miss them. Master Quartz differs from a regular quartz because it has the potential to grow stronger. The quartz itself becomes stronger as you win battles. If it's set in your Enigma 2. There's a thought, how does that actually work? Why does it become stronger? What's the mechanics behind that in terms of, like, the world? What's the reasoning? Never thought about it before. Like, maybe you're... Like, you as a person becoming more attuned with it? It's like, hmm. Well, that sounds kind of unreal. Yes. It's as though the Master Quartz is alive. Yeah. Uh, I take it we're in for a lecture all about that. Oh, sorry, I'm not a researcher or anything. I've only learned the gist of it and know that it works. But I guess you could think of it like drawing out the quartz's hidden power. Anyway, see, that sort of kind of explains it. Again, it's that Falcon thing of, like, what I'm thinking. They go like, yeah, yeah it's sort of because of this. Like, all oh, right, okay. Anyway, I can at least explain what you need to know about how to use your Enigma 2s. Not the theory, but real-life stuff. But before I do that, please take these. Pixie! Crow. So this is a Master Quartz. It certainly has a different feel to it than a regular Quartz. Are you sure it's okay for you to just give these to us? It's fine. They were supplied by the CPD for the purposes of your training. By the way, Master Quartz can't be synthesized at normal workshops. and can't be mass-produced either. The few we do have were shipped directly from the Foundation. Basically, we're able to sell only one Master Quartz of each type, so treat yours with care. 
I see, so they're pretty rare then. Do you have any tips for us before we can give them a shot, Wendy? Right. First, can you all please equip your Master Quartz? It doesn't matter who has which one. Let me know once everyone's set. Oh, and although Master Quartz have elemental types, their slots have no restrictions. In other words, any one user can use any given Master Quartz. That's rather convenient. What are we waiting for then? Let's equip them. Alright, so even though I do have Master Quartz equipped, I'm just wondering, like, what have we got here? Like, Pixie. ATS goes up quite a bit. Hmm. Begin battle with ATS raised, two turns of ATS. That that feels like a tier one to me. Potentially. Hmm, what's Crow? Begin battle with speed raised, two turns of speed. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I'm thinking like... Like, our strength stays the same, but your speed goes up. I'm thinking Crow on you. There's Mirage. Like, getting your EP back up, I feel, is more important with the ability there, as opposed to beginning with ATS. Again, that feels very much like a... a Tio thing, because I'll be using her... magic -y skills, won't I? So... Yeah, I feel like Crow was probably the best to put on Wazzy there. I don't think I've got any of her. No. Right, so, Wendy! Okay, I see you've all equipped a Master Quartz. Now what, Wendy? Right, so the next task is for you to get some live practice in. I've done that. You mean you want us to use them in combat? Sure do. I understand Lloyd and Noel have some experience, but I want all of you to give them a shot. That way we'll all be even. Do you want us to follow any guidelines, like location or number of battles? Not really. The location and opponent are up to you guys. Just win one battle without running away. That'll be good enough. I think we can manage that. Yes, that's simple. Where should we go, Lloyd? We received a support request to clear out the monsters in Mason and Melda, did we? You have two birds and one stone. I've, 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 already, I've already done it. Good idea. That'd be easier than heading out to the highway. Sounds like you know the perfect testing grounds. Actually, please take this quartz with you too. Mind? What's this for? Another little gift from CPD Headquarters. If you set it in a normal slot, you'll be able to use a brand new art for the Enigma 2. Analyze. He who controls the flow of information controls the tide of battle, as they say. Make good use of it. Hear you loud and clear. That tier around will need to rely on art and items to analyze enemies in the meantime. Alright then, be careful out there, guys. Don't forget. You can come to me whenever you want to tune your orbits and synthesize new quartz. By speaking to Wendy and selecting upgrade slash synthesize, you can synthesize new quartz or open slots in your tactical orbits. By synthesizing new quartz and equipping them, you'll be able to use various arts. And through opening and enhancing slots, you can equip more quartz and increase your maximum EP. Choose each function. Septium fragments called Sepith are required. Oh, really? You can obtain Sepith by defeating monsters. Can you? Oh. Oh, that'd be nice if I did that before doing this. Welcome back, guys. I take it you completed the combat test? Yes. So what do you think, Kelly? Wazzy? How do you like your new Master Quartz? I was actually pleasantly surprised. Yeah, to think you could get that much power out of a single Quartz. Honestly, color me impressed. Sort of like a... a deep, deep orange sort of color. Yep, that's exactly what I was hoping to hear. And guess what? If you power them up to their max level, you'll unlock even more power. But I'll let you all see that for yourselves. Wow. They sure are full of surprises. I guess we have something to look forward to. So, does that wrap up today's training? Yep, I'll send my report to headquarters right away. Do you guys any have any new questions about how to use your orbits before I let you go? Feel free to ask me anything. Let's see. Okay. Opening slots. It's common occurrence for quartz slots to be sealed on a fresh augment. You want to set a quartz first, you need to open a slot. I know I know this like this is just this is just tutorial. I want to actually do it. <laughs> that's it for now. Uh, thanks for all the help, Wendy. We learned a lot today. Happy to help. And before you go, I want you to have a new quartz I made for the Enigma 2. This one's on the house. Let's say it's the honor of the SSS starting back up. 
the eagle eye. We'll put it to good use. Thanks again, Wendy. You've really helped us out a lot. <laughs> it was nothing. Don't forget, you can always come to me if there's something you don't understand, or if you just need a refresher. We've also begun to offer new services at the next counter over. Let's hope you'll continue to make Genten the home for all of your orbital needs. Sounds good to me. How could we not after all the help you gave us today? Lovely. Right, so upgrade slots. Like, straight away, that's my thought, is like, get these slots open. Let's go with these, because... Interesting. Can upgrade. I'm gonna open them. Because at this point, I don't have anything in terms of... Anything that require upgrading them, really, would it? I'm running out of time, Sepith. Like, there. It's very... That is time, isn't it, the yellow one? That's spit. But you, no, it's. I always forget with those ones because because they're the higher elements. I I always forget. So let's let me just check here. Where is it? Lists. I need to remind myself. Space, times black. Because I was thinking like no, because the chrono stuff is black, so it's like space. It's it's space. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I just get these three mixed up. <laughs> it's just because I don't use them enough. Again, because it's the higher elements, so just, just, yeah. Let's see about making some quartz, then. Um, attack one. Two of them would be nice. Evades would be nice. Blind would be... I ran out already? Actions would be nice. And four of them would be very good, actually. Um, get a mind one. Hmm... Another poison would be good. Like, at this point, like, getting one of each would be quite good. A seal. Alright, so let's see what we're doing in terms of augment then. So, augment. Like, let's... So, focusing on trying to get certain things on you. Let's put poison on you. Let's get an attack on you. I want to attack on, like, because you're going to be sort of my defensive character there, Lloyd. So I want attack here. I need to open up his slots, but again, we're, like, we're missing a few things. Space, though. Eagle Eye displays enemy info on the minimap. Good. Okay. All right, defense. One day over here. And HP, obviously. Get evade on you. Action all round, like you, I need another slot, really. You know, I'd say, actually, action's probably better for you than anything else at that point. Hmm. Let's change that over to mind, and then change that over to evade. Hmm, go a seal. Shield. Attack, I don't feel that's good for you there. I mean, we may as well throw attack on you while we're waiting to unlock these slots. And the action, obviously. Evade. Hmm. What else could we get? Do I have a mute? I do have one in my inventory. It's like I already have the blind on her. It's very much... Just thinking, like, what's probably best? Probably HP. Thinking, like, in terms of the amount of elements we have over on you, you now have two waters. Let's see what arts we've got for each of them. Quite a bit going on there. And again, got the chrono downs. So something I love, something I love, and the chrono drive there, which is fantastic. Right, so let's head over to HQ. Because it's that case of... I feel like I need to unlock a recipe book, and I can't think of where else I'd get it at this point. We'll still do the rounds, don't worry. Well, look who it is! Oh, hey guys! And hi to you too, Noe. Didn't I tell you to stop calling me that when we're on duty? Be good to see you again, Rebecca. Sorry it's been so long. So, the special support section is finally up and running again. 
Are you already working on your support requests? That's right. Also patrolling the city and showing our new members the ropes. I actually got a request from the First Division. Could you tell us where to find Detective Emma? She's waiting in the conference room. Conference room? Down the hall. It's great to see you all finally collaborating with the First Division. I'm so proud of you. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I hope they aren't planning to show their busy work off onto us. Honestly, was he? Uh, anyway, let's see what Detective Emma has to say. Good luck, everyone! Huh. I thought you'd give it to me. I'm so impressed you all received the request from the First Division. The SSS has come a long way. You're like a proud older sister watching you grow up. Oh. Well, we'll go see Detective Emma, but... I, I very much was thinking... That I was going to get a buck from her. There you are, Detective Bannings. Good morning, Detective Emma. Thanks again for all you did for me. If you're referring to your training, I was only doing my job. It wasn't for your sake. I simply carried out the orders Detective Dudley gave me. Forgive me for being blunt, but I still don't understand why you would turn down an offer from the First Division and stay with the SSS. I'm sorry about that. He did that? Wow, Lloyd must really be highly thought of if the other divisions are trying to recruit him. Enough about that. I'll get straight to the point. I take the fact that you're here to mean you read the support request we sent. Yes, of course. It said Lecturer Rundle has entered Crossbell again. And that's what the First Division has been told. However, we have yet to confirm it. What are you getting at? Does that mean his whereabouts are unknown? Our intel about him entering Crossbell is uncertain to begin with. There have been several eyewitness reports, but any attempt to follow them up has ended unsuccessfully. Well, that's Lecter for you. We believe he's tracking our movements and evading capture. Now I get it. This isn't going to be easy. Knowing him, I'm not surprised. He did seem off when I met him. Your duty is to determine whether or not Lecter has truly entered Crossbell. That will determine the veracity of the reports. It's still possible that this is all just a ploy. Should you make contact, we'd like you to have him confirm his identity. Is he here as an Imperial Secretary or an Imperial Army Officer? Understood. If I may ask, why choose us? You came in contact with this individual multiple times before. I'm staking our investigation on that. Now it makes sense. That's a surprising response coming from one of the elites. Phew. As if this is what I'd prefer. If we split our forces, we could capture him. However, we have other cases to manage. And they're all, also the matter of diplomatic consequences to consider. With Dudley here, your assistance wouldn't be necessary. That won't be necessary. Now you mention it, where is Dudley? He left for the Burl to attend a security meeting relating to the upcoming trade conference last night. I believe he'll return tomorrow. Good to know. He does keep busy, doesn't he? That's why I'd like to wrap this up before he returns. He's the kind of person that would take up this investigation himself, no matter how tired he was after returning from a business trip. You're right, I can certainly see that. Sounds exactly like the kind of thing Detective Dudley would do. All right, we'll accept the request and get to work immediately. First, we need to investigate where Lecter was last spotted. Where would that be? Wise choice. Now, I haven't been able to confirm this, but our latest intel had him in the back alley area. The back alley? Near the old Revarch building. Is he... Is he the one who's gonna buy it? Sounds like it. Got it. We'll head there now. Please do. I'll be on standby with the First Division. Call for me at reception when you're ready to report. Now, if you'll excuse me. He's gonna be the potential buyer, isn't he? <sighs> From the sound of things, she worked you hard during your training with the First Division. Yeah, she can be strict, but she also taught me a lot while I was there. I think she just takes her job very seriously, that's all. That's the feeling I got as well. 
Well, women like her need to unwind every now and then, too, you know? <laughs> Perhaps I should invite her out for drinks tonight. Wazzy, I swear to Adios. Anyway, let's get out of here and search for Lecter. We'll start by checking the back alley. Okay, let's be off. Okay, what are you up to? Here's just... Here's just that case of like, what... What are you up to, Lecter? What are you up to? Hmm. They're finally making their move. I wonder if I'll be in the clear putting all of this in an article. Pressure from the Republican faction has eased up lately, but... Grace? What are you doing here? Oh, it's just you, Lloyd. I take it the special support section is finally back in action. Yes, thankfully. Tio and Randy aren't back with us yet, though. Oh, that's too bad. On the other hand, can't say I expected you to let Wazzy in off the street. You really surprised me on that one. I do aim to surprise, after all. It'd be fine with me if you wanted to write a special feature on it. Don't listen to him. Sounds interesting. I'd love to catch up with all of you, but now's not exactly the best time. After I'm done here, do you think we could... My, what an interesting gathering. Ah. Uh. Zhao. Trying to remember that. Oh, crap. It's been a while, Detective Bannings, Miss McDowell. If it isn't Wazzy Hemisphere and Sergeant Major Seeker, too, please do remind me if I say some of the names wrong that I eventually figured out in Zero. Because it's like, it's been a little while, so my mind has slipped and forgotten. I think it's Sao, isn't it, though? How do you... That's quite the information network you have. Anything to keep tabs on my beloved SSS? Enough about my sources, though. How about yours, Grace? Never thought you would catch wind of this. And that's the renowned Crossbell Times for you, I suppose. No, it's just a coincidence, a coincidence! What are you up to, Sal? What business do you have here at the old Ravage compound? Isn't it obvious? Not making use of such valuable real estate would be a waste, don't you think? No. It would be much better off in the hands of Hayway. For ordinary businesses, acquiring property once owned by the Mafia would be quite difficult. But we of Hayway are quite experienced at these sorts of things. We're even in position, get a rather generous discount on the property. The contractor would rather not deal with the headache. Tch. You mind if I put that into an article, Tao? Go right ahead. I have nothing to hide. Though I'd prefer it if you didn't speculate on the finer details. <laughs> of course, I'll keep that in mind. Well, if you'll excuse me then. If you need anything, feel free to drop by my office, Lloyd. Let's go, Lao. Sir. Sao. Sao. I think it's that. If I remember correctly. Triple dot. What a terrifying man. I feel like he could see right through us. I know. The youngest Hayway branch manager. The White Orchid Dragon. Tao Li. He's even sharper than the rumors say. Yeah, he's always like that. Grace, did you know Heiwei was looking to purchase the old Ravarch compound? Yeah, I heard they planned to buy it and all the attached warehouses in one go. If Heiwei managed to seize this place, you're going to have full control of Crossbell's underworld. It's not something to look forward to. Agreed. This is not what I was hoping to see when we came here. I mean, I liked the development, but I was expecting to see Lecter, so it's like, oh. But I'm glad we know now. True, we should probably include this in our report to the First Division. Oh, you guys didn't come to look into... Sal's movements. Could it be... You're working on something else juicy? Uh, well... Uh, wait, I forgot that Grace was... With us one of the times we had contact with him. Actually, it's about someone you've met before, Grace. You're looking for the man who beat the miner at the casino. 
His name is Lecter. Oh, that guy. I just saw him a little while ago at Long Lao. What? Really? Yeah, he had uh, his usual vacation look on and was eating without a care in the world. Typical Lecter. I was in a bit of a hurry to get here, though, so I didn't stop to talk with him. Wait. I can't stay here like this. I need to go pump Sal for more information. Later, let's grab a bite to eat sometime. She never changes. Yeah, but that also means she helped us out again. That was useful info. Let's head for Long Lao. Roger. Lloyd! Alright, Long Lao, here we come. It's good to be below the Bracer Guild. Ah, oh, it's lovely. It was here, wasn't it? This is Long Lao, isn't it? There he is. Hey, I love Lecter so much. Now I get it. So the secret is Eastern Pepper, eh? Right, has a completely different flavor and heat than the normal kind. It's only cultivated in the East, but recently became available to import via the railway. Man, the maple tofu I make myself never turns out this well. The secret is in the spice, huh? I really learned something today. So this is where you've been, Lecter. We actually found him. Grace was right. He really doesn't have a care in the world. Just need him to confirm his identity and it's mission accomplished. Hey guys, you're late. You really know how to keep a guy waiting. Huh? These are the guys I was telling you about before, Master. They've got guts like you wouldn't believe. So make sure to work them hard. Got it. Leave it to me. It will be hard with four people, but I'm happy to help spread Eastern cuisine. Now prepare yourselves and try to keep up. Um, what are you talking about? Hey, he ran away. <laughs> Should have known. You have to chase after him. Where do you think you're going? Your training has already begun. We must begin the cooking prep. This is where we're going to get the recipe book. That's cool. No, we're not here for... Sorry, but... We're with the Crossbow Police Department. Oh, I am very sorry for the misunderstanding, officers. But perhaps this was faint. Here, take this with you. I knew it! Oh. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I was worried then. I was like, but I don't have a... I don't have my recipe book. Now, are you sure? You're even giving us a recipe book. Don't worry, we had extras. Hope you will devote yourselves to it. Thank you very much. Well then, please excuse us. After him, everyone. Right. Roger. Lloyd. When you talk to people or examine certain things, you can sometimes learn cooking recipes. Recipes are recorded in the recipe notebook. If you use the recipe notebook, you can prepare dishes with various effects at any time. When cooking recipes, there's a set chance to get a supreme or peculiar variant of each dish. Cooking can sometimes result in a failure, too. Most ingredients used in cooking are sold at general stores and various shops. Monsters may drop them as well. It's no good, we lost him. He's unbelievable. It's like he knew we were coming. Yeah. We shouldn't be surprised. He is a captain in the Imperial Intelligence Division, after all. Maybe. He doesn't really strike me as the military type, though. So, should we give up here? No, of course not. Let's search until we find out where he went. If we ask people on the street, we might find a lead. Good idea. Let's go. Alright, for me, as now I've got the recipe book, it's straight back to the uh, back alley because I want to get that recipe book that said cook on it like just just because I went off and I saw another one I was like well this is significant then there is a copy of the working man's diet here then the recipe for rich cappuccino oh, I wish I never came here disgusting 
All right, so. Okay, that's not. I'm just wondering, like, where Electra could have gone. So that's probably wise to check with people we've already checked with, sort of thing. No. All right, then. Some weird redhead rolled up and hit on me a few minutes ago. He was pretty cool, but, like, when I told him he wasn't my type, he said, Hey, no swear, you're not my type either. Like, O-M-F-G. What the hell do you mean I'm not your type? You were hitting on me. It's not just me. That redhead was totes weird, right? He went into the department store, but, like, who even is he? Uh -huh -huh. So... I'm actually going to use this as an opportunity to end this part. In the next part, we'll head into the department store and look after Lecter. Or look for him, at least. See you in the next part. Ta-da for now.